So I was five years old, I was very bored one day, and my mum came home with a DVD of Garfield's Fun Fest. <laughs> when I saw that DVD of Garfield's Fun Fest, my eyes flip and explode. I watched it over and over and over again. And today, I decided to rewatch it. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> So the plot begins by showing a storybook, and the storybook opens up, and it shows a frog, and how the frog is the funniest person in the world, and all the animals in the area do not understand how this frog is goddamn so funny. And then they finally thought to themselves, like, oh my god, I tried to click, that, that, the, that the pond that the frog was drinking out of is the... The, why, the reason why he's so goddamn how <laughs> funny. So. <laughs> yeah, and then they all started drinking it. And they all became funny. And it was amazing. But yeah. And then. It cuts to Garfield. Because he really wants his like. Food. Of course. Because. You know, he doesn't like Mondays and all that stuff. So. Yeah. And that scene, everyone, is what you call cringe. Yeah, that's really all I got to say about that scene. But after, during that scene, John, is that his name, the owner of Garfield? It's something like that. John Joey or some shit like that. Says to them that it's Fun Fest. I love how they call it Fun Fest and all this stuff, even though Fun Fest has never been said in anything in the Garfield universe before, which is hilarious, and I'm pretty sure that's every Garfield movie. They introduce something that's not in the universe before. It does not make any sense, but whatever, I guess. So yeah, that's all i got to say really about that bit. Okay, if I'm gonna be honest, at this point onward, I was just kind of like skipping through the movie, because like at this point... I was going to shoot myself if I was going to keep watching this. I do not know how I watched this so much, like 20 times, when I was 5 years old, 5 to 7 years old. I generally don't know how, but how do I live through these things? And yeah, um, after all that, Garfield wants to do his like, stand-up comedy. Fiona, is that his name? Of his girlfriend? Something like that. Um... Gets really angry at um, him for not doing the dance with him, and she decided to do it with someone else. And he thought of the storybook that he needed to um, get that funny water that made the frog laugh and the thing, and then they got it eventually. They needed help from some squirrel guy or something. And then they got there by like glider or something, and then like, he got it after the very long adventure with Odie, and then they eventually decided to get the goddamn funny water. It made him funny, as it said it was going to. And then they got back, and then he said, The, the water wasn't funny, Garfield. It didn't make you funny. You were the one that was funny. I, I think that's how the movie went. I don't know. And then he came back. And then the the real handsome guy. He doesn't look handsome. He looks ugly as fuck. Um, <laughs> was proved to be normal. Was that his name? Norman? Normal? Yeah, it ended up being him. Disguised as him. So yeah, and then they do the funky little dance at the end. And that's the movie. Yeah, so I rate this movie like a 2.5 out of 10. This was probably very under average as what everyone else rated it, but I thought it was just the death of me. So yeah, please like and subscribe. I had to suffer through that. Please, bye.